I'll just come out and say it so we can move on. I'm flat out embarrassed that I had no faith in the Irish on Wednesday against North Carolina State. They came out firing on all cylinders after probably reading my preview and wanting to make me look foolish. After averaging 34 points in the first half this season, the Irish dropped 48 before the break against the Wolfpack and never looked back, winning by 30 in the end. All right, I won't take all the credit. There were plenty of other doubters out there that fooled the fire, but for a good reason. It really made no sense that the Irish could lose their MVP, Bonzi Colson, and play that well offensively. Then Farrell rolled his ankle, and they started playing even better. I still don't get it. I want to give Mike Bray all the credit for getting his guys to move the ball as well as they did out of necessity, knowing they couldn't move it into the paint as much without Colson. Then again, it made me wonder if the seven-man rotation the Irish had been using should have been spread more evenly into a nine-man rotation all along. We'll find out if Notre Dame's new lineup is for real when it heads to Syracuse to play the Orange in the Carrier Dome on Saturday with Colson and Farrell both sitting out. Quick facts. Pound sign Brecious is over. Mike Bray is now Notre Dame's all-time leader in men's basketball coaching wins. Next is the countdown to 400 wins, for which Bray only needs six more.